contingent is commanded by Cadet Second Lieutenant The first contingent is commanded by Senior Under Officer Roda Com Roda Com Cadet Senior Under Officer and his supernumerary the supernumerary is Cadet Warrant Officer Class 1, Bomo Root. Bomo Root. Now, the first contingent, the permanent staff instructor that trained the cadet, is in the person of Cadet Warrant Officer Class 1, Emmanuel Treme. And the MIC, the master in charge of the first contingent, the school, is in the person of MIC Cadet Second Lieutenant. Amankwa Ediya. here once again to mark the sixth Independence Day of Ghana with the theme of celebration, our unity, our strength, our purpose. First of all, I give all thanks to God, our Lord Almighty, for how far He has brought us amidst our blessings and challenges. Sixty-six years ago today, we as a people still journey the vision our forebears gave birth to. Ghana is ready to manage its own affairs. And of course, through different transitions, we have together built the Ghana we have today. Even though there are a lot more we can do, and there are a lot more that we need to do. The past few years, our country has suffered the consequential effects of the cold hands of the global COVID-19 pandemic and the Russian Ukraine war. This has resulted in loss of lives and jobs, broken economies with resultant effect of socio-economic action. As a nation, there is no doubt how these global enemies have distorted our speed of economic growth and social development. However, in the midst of these challenges, we have also done well as a people by joining hands to bond together which continue to give us hope that sooner than later the storm will be over. I am confident that if we continue to bond together in unity as a people, we will continue to have the strength to serve for which we live as a nation, to serve the present age and the ages to come. 
our calling to fulfill. Long live His Excellency the President of the Republic, long live Ghana, and may the good Lord continue to make us great and strong. Thank you. Chairman, our independence has on earth 
many young talents and offered opportunities in developing our enormous talents, potentials, and dexterity to contribute meaningfully towards the social economic development of our dear nation without obstructions. It has given us the privilege to lead our life, handle things on our own, and plan our political lives blissfully, and this has intensified our love and respect for our dear nation, as it explains the theme for this year's event, namely, quote and unquote, our unity, our strength, our purpose. Now, my chairman, the theme, our unity, our strength, our purpose, is appreciated since it serves as a guide for all Ghanaians in reminiscing the development from the past and recent occurrences. Ghanaians are well united, adopting more innovative ways in stimulating the transformation of our economy. In this regard, we need to strengthen our unity since development rests on peaceful environments. It is a suitable team to sober reflection on our past, present, and future. In effect, it unites us and indicates our purpose of developing the country. Again, it will help us to reconcile our differences in order to move the nation forward, since unity is strength. And I, Chairman, let me stress that our unity, our strength, our purpose is very relevant as it seeks to remind us that we are one people with a common destiny. All what we need is growth and development of our dear nation. In view of this, I therefore call on all Ghanaians to avoid any tendencies that may draw us back. We need to be united in the approach to national issues to enable us achieve our goals. And as chairman, as we celebrate 66 years, we've gotten enough experience to prepare us to reconcile the nation and to achieve the needed development. In the past years, political conflicts, economic instability, coup d'etats, chief tensi and other stringent economic measures have caused a lot of challenges in respect of the developmental agenda of the government. However, gradually, the good people of Ghana are working hard to overcome these negative social economic challenges to enable us to maintain our unity, our strength, our purpose. Through education and proper institutionalization, past events have been reconciled with the current state of the nation. There has been a giant and inbuilt economy in terms of agriculture, commerce, education, etc. And education has explained and strengthened our unity, our, our strength, and our purpose. Ladies and gentlemen, I must stress that the government is committed to improving the conditions of teaching and learning.
Excellent. Of excellence. But uh, 